All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sports action while on the go and communicate with us through the live chat feature. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. And remember, in case you missed it, it's now on Sportsmax, Scene TV and YouTube. So, Ricardo is just going to give us a quick update on the West Indies versus England second ODI and then we continue. Yes, yeah, so England chasing 203 to level the series. They are 163 for four. The captain, Joss Butler, is at the crease. He's on 33. Harry Brook is on 26. Will Jacks has so far top scored with 73. Good Akesh Moti, the pick of the West Indies border so far with two wickets, two for 30 from his seven overs. A wicket for Romario Shepard, one for 18 from four overs. Shurfin Rutherford, one for 12. He's in his third over at the moment. Azari Joseph banged around in his first, but I think bowled three overs for 38. He's now bowled five overs for 48. But England well on course to leveling the series at 1-1, going into the deciding third one-day international. Yeah. All right. So we're going to continue now with the interactive segment. Let's start by taking comments from Tuesday's show discussing the perceived bias towards track and field for Jamaica's National Sports Awards. On YouTube, the survivor says, what did Chelian do this year? There are others that could be included on the list. The Mario, I agree with the team category, with the team category inclusion. Mr. Frenzy, joke thing. Alison Swaby and Bonnie Shore should have been on the list. Britannia Williams, Khadija should have been included. Anne Greaves, track and field is dominant, no surprise. Barry, if I am to follow Ricardo's logic, then Dion Burton should not have won in 1997. He scored four goals and was not rated in any international football poll as a top striker. That year, Davian Clark made it to the 400m semi-finals at the World Games and won a silver medal as part of the 400m relay. And Azar should have been given the award over Burton. Not nominating Bonnie does not make any sense. Any, doesn't make sense. Ricardo? Alright, so a few questions there, right? Sorry, I was, I was writing them down so I wouldn't forget. No man, you're first. One, what did Shelley and Fraser Price do this year? Shelley and Fraser Price was number three in the world at 100 meters by virtue of her bronze medal performance at the World Championships in Budapest. Shelley and Fraser Price, based on her times at 100 meters, proved to be in the top three in the world, um, or top four in the world, sorry, based on times. That is what Shelley and Fraser Price did this year. So I hope that answers your question. She was top three in the world and I want people to understand that top three in the world now to the other point about Dion Burton should not have won in 1997 because Davian Clark got to the semi-finals of the um, 400 meters um, getting to the semi-finals of the 400 meters is not the same as being in the top three in the world is it getting to the semi-finals of the 400 meters i guess back then would mean that you are in the top 16 in the world now when you compare somebody who is in the top 16 in the world as opposed to somebody whose impact brought you to a world cup and given the historic significance of that then clearly the historic significance and impact of dion burton's performance would be greater than an individual who gets to the semi-finals of the world championships in athletics come on that's a no-brainer yeah that's a no-brainer you don't need a university education to understand that absolute no-brainer so i hope that clears that up any other questions no let's move along well at the Bowl legends match at the drv pink stadium in miami there was an unforgettable moment between the Brazilian soccer legend Ronaldinho and Usain Bolt. Here are some of the responses on X. So this is a, a brilliant moment to legends. The boys Lee says, Cha, me never fast me never fast enough. Cha, cha. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. W, a little country youth from Trelawney, you know. <laughs> Goldilocks, 
bold I live a life, you know? Jonathan Osuma, goosebumps. You two are responsible for memories that will last a lifetime. Satani, goat meets goat. FIFA World Cup says legends. All right, I agree with the FIFA World Cup and goat meets goat. And the memories one as well. Yeah, Usain Bolt is an absolute superstar. And so you would expect him to vibe with superstars, with <laughs> other superstars. Real recognizes real. Yeah, that, that's what you have. It is as simple as that. And it's also what I need people to understand as well about this very issue of the, the national awards um, that essentially what you have in the track and field athletes are superstars who are at the very top of their discipline. And so if you are going to displace them, then you too have to be at the very top of your discipline. And it needs to be undoubtedly so when you're dealing with, for example, individuals who are showing that they are undoubtedly in the top three in the world in their discipline and their performances prove that. One, one of the things I think is happening, Mariah, is that individuals, and it, it's shown as far as I'm concerned in that question about what did Shelley and Fraser Price do this year. So what you're doing is comparing Shelley and Fraser Price to herself. So yeah, in previous years she won and she got nominated. She only came third this year. So why is she nominated? Because third is still better than the candidates you are suggesting should have been nominated ahead of her. And I really want to drive that point home because I really need individuals to understand that and that we're doing the track and field athletes a disservice when we try to play down their performances that is at the highest level of their sport and their, and their specific disciplines. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look now at what fans are saying on social media about Jamaican athlete Neyoka Clunis and her cry for help. All right, so this is an Instagram post. Let me see if I have this in my bunch or... Ashley Theophane says, Jamaican companies should be sponsoring Jamaican athletes. Ainsworth Myrie, that's not right. She should get support and assistance. She represents Jamaica. Martin Manley, the truth about being an athlete in Jamaica. Simon Johnson, tough solutions though. Well, I think the sports organizations and the people through the government can support. This is already done. I think something like an athlete's association run and funded by the athletes can be done. A small piece of earnings of all athletes can be sent to it, say it's 0.5. 5%, 1%, build a facility with the necessary professions on hand, a gym, equipment, etc. Annual contributions to keep the doors open, add-ons like maybe a subscription for non-athletes or other sports, an international training program run by the coaches for international athletes, corporate sponsors can donate annually and sponsor different blocks too, just thinking out loud. So a really long um, post there, Ricardo. Yeah, but with solutions, right? So that is always very good. Um, as I said earlier in the show, though, I think the National Association, in this case, the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, has to take the lead on this matter. They have to formalize how athletes are assisted financially by the Federation. And I think once that happens, then I find you will get greater support for the initiative. But it has to start with the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association. Yeah, well, happy for the, um, the solutions, as you said. Let's take this last tweet, reacting to the same thing. Michael Johnson, it's always going to be tough when you must depend on funding for representing your country, which you only get to do on a global stage once a year. Too many athletes competing in too many events and too few opportunities to provide value for a sponsor for their country. What do you make of what he says, Michael Johnson? What it goes to what I was suggesting earlier, that you have so many athletes uh, and definitely in the Jamaican landscape, so many quality athletes as well, that 
the Federation will not be in a position to support every single one of them financially. Yes. But that is exactly why it is so important to formalize how you do support. And so the athletes are aware how they can access the support and they can they, they get a clear understanding of uh, um, exactly how they qualify for that support and as I said earlier until that is done then the National Association is failing in that regard yeah Ricardo any updates again with the West Indies cricket before we wrap the show I mm -hmm. can take a look I mean yeah. England definitely closing in on victory 174 for four they are in the 30th over um, yeah um, the captain Josh Butler on 36 Harry Brook is on 34 and as I said earlier Will Jacks top scored with 73 okay. so England now needing 27 from 20.1 overs that is 121 deliveries to get 27 runs and they have six wickets in hand um, West Indies you need a hat trick yeah let's take this last tweet and then we'll we'll go last one all right so I know most of us never get to go relay school, but let's say you were the coach and had the opportunity to select and line up the women's 4x100 team for Jamaica. Who would, you, who would you select and which leg would they run? And these are the... If I'm understanding it, I think they're asking for an all-time um, Jamaica 4x100 relay team. No, it is very, very tough to select an all-time Jamaica 4x100 relay team and pick an order and they have um, to be all fit right we're thinking about them fit because yeah, elaine yeah, yeah. will be in it charlie will be in it for me once fully fit sharika <laughs> so i think uh, yeah so you're onto something um so shelly elaine sharika jackson merlin Nutty would Merlina. be my four okay um i would definitely have merlin Nutty on anchor and I would start with Shelley and Fraser Price. How you run Sharika Jackson and Elaine Thompson Hira, um, I think would is where the debate would come down to. Plus as well, Sharika has never run any leg outside of the anchor leg on a four by one for Jamaica. So if she gets picked on an all time team, where exactly you would put her? So there are so many variables to think about. Um, but I think this would make a fascinating debate trying to pick an all-time women's 4x100 relay team. Yeah. All right, Ricardo. Well, that's it from us for today. Of course, we're signing out, but we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Keep it locked to Sportsmax and, of course, download the Sportsmax app. Have a beautiful evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Why you always in the mood? Tag.